G'day Virgo, I'm going to do your love energy reading for this week. See what love energy is coming towards you. So this could be someone from the past, someone in the present, someone from the future. Cross watches, this could be you, this could be someone else. Um, also, time's fluid, so, you know, this might relate to you now, it might relate in the future, so... Don't forget to check out my playlists for your sign. There might be something else on there that relates more to your current situation. Yeah, because we're all going through different things at different times. All right, let's go. Love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Three cards. table but one flicked in the deck. We'll take that one. One more please. Thank you. Okay. So we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this person's looking out for red flags. Obviously they've been hurt before. So they're watching out careful. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they know who you are. They know you. And they think you could be the one. They're just watching out for red flags. And chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So they feel there's chemistry between you two. Mmm. Alright, Virgo. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So they might have certain belief systems when it comes to relationships. They want to have a heart to heart. Ooh, reconcile some differences. There could be some differences between you that want to reconcile. Could be someone from the past. Could just be someone who was a friend before you had a run in with. Mm. Keep an open mind. Ooh, they think it could be unrequited due to some family issues. Trust. Trust issues. Trust issues with family. They're going to got to let go of those control issues. Got to let go of those issues, mate. Alright. Okay, let's have a look. Can you tell us about these, this love energy? Ooh, again, what's going on, Virgo? Your cards don't want to come together. So what's going on here? <clears throat> tell me about pay attention to the red flags. What are these red flags they're worried about? So we have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, I don't take reversals guys, girls, and the um, Seven of Cups. So, red flags, there's love here, they want to work on things, they see you as a soulmate on the connection. They want to take things slowly and build up to something real, but there's some sort of confusion or illusion here. Are they just kidding themselves? Do you have other options? They're looking for red flags, but well, none of those are red flags. This could be, but none of those are. They're looking for red flags where there are none, because they're kid. They're in an illusion. They're kidding themselves. Like they're confusing themselves. They're looking for red flags where there aren't any. I mean, maybe going a bit slow, but slow and steady gets the wins the race. 
like there's work being put in here. There's love. And there's the lovers. Like they're two awesome cards. Ten of Pentacles, that's pretty good. That's stable future together. So what's the confusion, mate? I think they're looking for red flags where there aren't any. That's what I'm getting. Looking for red flags where there aren't any. What's at the bottom here? King of Wands. Mm, two of Swords. So they're controlling their passion that they have because they don't know. They think they think there's red flags where there aren't any, so they're holding back their passion. Yeah, because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Is this coming correctly? Will they get cut out? They don't know. They want to offer this passion and manifest this, the wheel to turn, but they're doing some self-sabotage here. Yeah, that's why they're holding back. That's why there's red, they think there's red flags because they're self-sabotaging themselves with an illusion. Yeah, that needs to end. Death card. Tell me about this could be the one. I see Virgo is the one. <laughs> Bending my cards today. So, oh, seven of wands, nine of cups, ten of wands. They think he could be the one, but they're guarded. You are their wish fulfillment. But there's some burden they need to drop. Which is this illusion that there's red flags. Yeah, they know you could be the one. Because of those illusions of red flags, they're really guarded about sharing their love. And it, like, they're really guarded about this wish fulfillment. It's becoming a burden for them because they know that you could be the one. But this self again, that two of one, a uh, two of swords, that indecision. They're not making a decision here. They know you could be the one. So what's the indecision about? Judgment call. They're worried that you're going to leave them out in the cold, and they're going to be stuck up in their head about it. Or is your choice going to be to charge forward into something that's stable and committed and balanced? Or are they going to get their heart broken? Or is it, you know, what's the truth going to be here? Hmm. Okay, tell me about chemistry. What's this chemistry they have for Virgo? That's this attraction they have for Virgo. Tell me about chemistry. Something flipping there. No. I'm just going to do it like that because I can't remember which way they came out. Three of Swords. Eight of Cups. Four of Cups. And the Emperor, yeah. I know there's chemistry between you two, but again, they worry about this heartbreak and they're going to have you're going to walk away from them, They're, you're going to reject their offer. They've got it stuck in their head, they're stubborn about this. There's chemistry, but there's so much fear here. So they're just stubborn, stuck in their head about these red flags. Oh no, Virgo won't want me. They'll just break my heart and walk away. They'll reject my offer, walk away, break my heart. Oh no. I'm just going to sit here and... <laughs> and stew about all this chemistry I have for them. Because they're just going to hurt me. Oh my God, mate. 
What's going on? Oh, another thing that I've got is... Okay, whole, whole another story here. Hang on. They may see that they can offer all this stability, but they're confused about you putting up with red flags. They think you could be the one. And they're trying to stand their ground, but you are their wish fulfillment. But you're putting up with some burden here, that, and they don't understand why. They feel this amazing chemistry for me for you and they can see that you're heartbroken and you want to walk away and not put up with s someone who's stubborn maybe. They want to offer you something better than that. Oh, mind games and manipulation when at any cost. What the hell? Is this person self-sabotaging or are they just... Feeling the chemistry and wanting to be a prick. I take back what I said. Yeah, they're looking for red flags where there are none. Because you're fine. You're an awesome catch, Virgo. And they know it. Because you are a wish fulfillment, but they're guarded and burdened and don't know what to do, and they feel this chemistry, but is their own self control and mind games, their self sabotage going to sabotage you? Because look, they're holding back still, juggling, could be juggling a third party. I want to close out that cycle, come correctly, but. Do they know the cycle's going to end because you're going to cut them out? And they want this passion, that's what they're manifesting, but there's competition here. Do you have someone else? Do they have other people? The wheel's going to turn. The beast will be tamed. Someone's going to get stuck in their head because someone else leaves and charges forward triumphantly. They make that judgment call to leave something out in the cold because they want stability and balance and the truth. Hmm. Hmm. It's their belief systems are holding them back. Hmm. Yeah, they're looking for red flags because they are the red flag. Wouldn't be surprised if that I blamed you, but it was me card comes out later. Because that's exactly what it's looking like here. They're looking for red flags when you have none. They know you could be their wish fulfillment, but they're going to stuff everything up because the chemistry is way off. It's almost like possessive. Or it's, or it's like, I'm going to break your heart before you break mine. Mind games. What the hell is going on? Three cards for love energy coming towards... There we go. There we go. Butterfly. Transformation. Get ready for a big breakthrough. Hmm. What are they going to transform into, though? That's the question. Dove. Serenity. Slow down, pause, and breathe. And hawk, focus, close, choose your priorities, and eliminate all distractions. I just got them watching you like a hawk. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is soul's path. Honor your soul's purpose. Spirit Eagle, trust in your higher self, joy, lighten up, hummingbird, pelican, forgiveness, let go of your judgments, determination, salmon, you know where you're going and you will get there, and authority, mm, they're determined to keep their authority and they want forgiveness and to bring joy back, but 
them. This could be their soul's, their soul and their higher self is telling them to lighten up. You're going to need forgiveness here, mate, because this determination and authority, <laughs> get prepared for purification, clear out the clutter to be cleared out, mate. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. I think Virgo is going to clear you out of their life. If you're coming in like that, if that's what you think chemistry is. Or else they feel a connection because you've both been heartbroken and had mind games done to each other. Or done to, yeah. Both burdened by something. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups under the deck. Things that have happened in the past. Hmm. Alright, tell me about transformation with the butterfly. It's this big breakthrough. The wheel. Wheel of Fortune. Well, the wheel's turning on something and something, I mean, the transformation butterfly, this is the death card. So something's going to end and transform into something else and the wheel's turning on that. It's definitely going to change. Something's definitely going to change here. And for the better with success. And the six of wands. Well, they're hoping things will transform, the wheel will turn and they'll be successful. They're looking for this big breakthrough, but they're holding back still. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. <sighs> holding back their love. And getting being cold as ice. Looking at other options. Also, again, there's that confusion and illusion. About charging forward with passion and investing in something that they think is just going to be heartbreaking secrets. What the hell? What is going on with people today? Alright, tell me about Dove Serenity. Okay, oops, sorry. Bumped it. Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Hangman, Four of Cups, Empress, Judgment, and Ace of Cups. Yeah, they have to slow down, pause, and breathe because you're walking away here because it's just too much of a burden. They're just stuck. Or they're going to walk away because it's too much of a bird and they're feeling stuck about their offer being rejected. They know it's a dead end and their offer will be rejected and you're just going to make the judgment call to find you love somewhere else. Or else they need to walk, start, slow down and breathe. Walk away from all this burden. Look, have a new perspective on your offer. You're offering to an empress. You want the judgment call to be new love. Not, mm, if you don't want it to be rejected, you've got to come in with some sort of offer to grow something. And your judgment has to come from love. I mean, if it's too much of a burden, then go ahead, walk away, mate. Because your chemistry is crap. Mm. Walking away because it's a burden and they feel stuck about their offer being rejected. Have you rejected their offer in the past? I don't think they've offered anything. I think this is all in their head. They're just stubborn and 
Well, I'm not going forward. I'm not getting my heart broken. I'm not making the offer. Again, you're going to ha- walking away. Because the Empress, which I, I'm getting, that's you, Virgo, male or female. It's making a judgment call that she wants new love, or he wants new love. Because this Emperor up here, the Empress, look what the Emperor is surrounded by. Mind games, refusing offers, walking away, heartbreak. The Empress is making a judgment call that she wants love. No gender here, guys. Yeah, walking away from burdens. Not being stuck with offers that are boring. Not interested in them. Hmm. So they better slow down and breathe because... Yeah. Nine of Wands. They're going to be the wounded warrior. Standing out in the field like a scarecrow. Scaring everybody off with this crazy chemistry. It's just toxic. It might as well just be the devil sitting there. Toxic relationship. Yeah, the red flags are you, mate. What you're bringing. this stability and to offer love for things to be balanced and a new passionate beginning but there's conflict with their communication and how they work on things they're just too guarded and indecisive again seven of wands two of swords that's in that this could be the one they're gonna get left out in the cold because they're gonna leave you waiting the love they have for you they're just sitting there waiting Tell me about this hawk with focus. Choose your priorities and eliminate all distractions. Tell me about the hawk. Queen of Pentacles, that's you. Earth sign, loving and stable. Male or female. Yep, I told you, they're watching you like a hawk. Nope, watching you like a hawk. (laughs) Their priority is you. I don't like the chemistry, though. I don't like the way they're coming. They're looking for red flags where there aren't any. You're this. Loving and stable. Male or female. They're looking for... Red flags where there are none. They're thinking it could be the one, but they're causing drama. And the chemistry is just crap. Mm. And justice. Ooh. If this is someone from the past... They could be coming in to cause some drama with justice. They think it's justice for them to come in and hurt you. Just be careful of that. Or else they're they're just focusing on you because they want to balance things out with you. That other message was just for... You'll know if it was for you or not. (sighs) Yeah, they want to balance things out with you. Another message I got, if you're going through a divorce, they're watching you and your finances. Alright, bottom of the deck, King of Cups, so holding back emotions. Got a lot of love, but doesn't show it. Stability, family, money. Passionate action, but it's all controlled. Little loving message, but there's toxicity behind it. It's a toxic commitment. It's a toxic relationship here. There's love, but 
what's this devil doing in the middle of the, getting in the way of the commitment holding back their love holding back their passion sending a little bit of love but as far as commitment goes it's toxic because there's confusion and illusion that has to stop if they want to invest because someone's going to go cold and cut them out and they'll be left holding the bag out and desolate coins falling out everywhere that's that four of pentacles again it's three times we've seen it from three different three different decks no it can't be no it must be two hmm yeah holding back from balancing things out you either wish fulfillment or you were in the past, but there's been some sort of deception and lies, possibly cheating with another woman. She can be the other woman. And someone got cut about it. Tried mind games, but someone else moved on. Just calmer waters because they want stability. Partying and stuff, no thanks, I'd rather just be all quiet by myself, thank you very much. I'll look for something better that's got their, knows how to tame their beast and speaks the truth and offers stability. My intuition is telling me that happiness is somewhere else and things need, you know, the secrets, yeah, the moon and the sun, the, you know, the sun needs to shine on any of these secrets to be exposed all the hidden stuff you're not saying about running off to other people's uh, that's going a bit far into the deck but <sighs> their priority is you and balancing things out with you but their chemistry is way off <sighs> I don't know what to say here yeah, religious factors, some sort of upbringing, some sort of belief system they have when it comes to love is off. Something's off. Mm. Oh, there go. Oh, shit. Better hurry up. Your reading went up load. Alright, love energy coming towards Virgo, please. What can you tell me? Come on. Oh, get one card. Oh, Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. One more, please. That's more we've got engagement ring I'm not going to read the bottoms because your reading won't load otherwise lightning big change that's the tower heartbroken see it was love you got committed and then something struck and broke it broke the heart or broke your heart talking and Saw in the rose. Yeah, there needs to be talk about the truth and clarity here. Some truth and clarity. But not today. Well, it's not enough. That might not be enough. Oh, twin flames. That could make sense. They're watching you. Watching how stable you are. I think they know they're not enough. And that's why they're sabotaging this. All right. What would they like to say to Virgo? I can't wait to see you again I wish things were different yeah I bet they do I feel safe with you of course I do because you're awesome you feel like home yeah and you are so hot that's hmm. that passion bottom of the deck we can work it out I'm going crazy without you. I look at your pictures a lot. Please contact me. Well, that's up to you. Can we talk? I don't know. I don't know. 
hope this made sense to you, Virgo. All right. Well, that's your reading for this week. Good luck. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll do another reading next week. And, uh, yeah, all the best and I'll catch you later.